Hello friends, welcome to my channel. As I have demonstrated earlier, there are several methods of wiring a three-way switch and this example is one of them. Power enters the light outlet, then goes to the first three-way switch, travels to the second three-way switch and this is the dead end. In today's video, I will demonstrate how the wiring is done if the light fixture is in the center of two three-way switches. Stay tuned and watch the video until the end to see how I complete this project. So let's get started. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Working with electrical wiring or equipment can be dangerous and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. In the wiring method I am going to show today, power will enter the first three-way switch, then go to the light fixture. After that, it will go to the second three-way switch and then go back to the light fixture again. The circuit will start from the first three-way switch and will end at the second three-way switch. Let's see how it is done. I will turn off power from the circuit breaker and dismantle the existing circuit then install the new wires. To begin with, let's see how the wiring is done. This video is not about how the wires are actually pulled through the wall studs. My focus is on how the connections are actually done. So what happens in this case is that power comes into the first switch box using a 14-2 wire. This is the wire here. Then from first switch box, we have a 14-3 wire which goes to the light box. From the light box, another 14-3 wire goes to the second light switch. This is the ground pigtail in the second switch box and this is the ground pigtail in the first switch box. And this is the ground pigtail in the light box. These two wires, they are from the light fixture. If you are using a different light fixture, then you might also have a green ground wire. For the purpose of this video, I am using a Leviton Decro style three-way switch. Black screw or black terminal is where we connect the line or the load wires. And the brass screws are where we connect the traveler wires. This particular switch has a self-grounding strip on top. If you want, you can also use a traditional toggle type three-way switch to maintain consistency in the existing wiring of your house. The black screw or black terminal is for connecting the line wire or the load wire to the light fixture and these two brass terminals, they are for connecting the traveler wires. I will be using Wago 11 nut connectors. If you do not have Wago 11 nut connectors, you can also use these wire nut connectors. We always start with making sure that the power is off. I know power is off here, but still, if you are working on an existing circuit, you must check that there is no power coming into the wires. Check here as well, check here, everywhere. Make sure there is no power. I will start from here and uh, take care of the ground wires first. I will use Wago 5 pin lever nut connector to connect all the ground wires in the first switch box. Only four of these five pins will be used. The ground pigtail from the switch box, bare copper ground wire from power in, the ground wire from this, this 14.3, and the ground pigtail from the switch. The white wire from power source is connected to the white wire from the 14.3. So I will use a two pin Wago 11 nut connector to connect the two white neutral wires. Next, we connect the black hot wire from power source 14.2 wire to the black terminal on this three way switch. The red traveler wire from this 14-3 wire is connected to the upper brass screw of this switch. This black traveler wire from the 14-3 is connected to this brass screw on the other side of the switch. Next, I will take care of the ground wires in the light box. This is the ground wire from the 14-3 wire. This is the ground wire from this 14-3 wire and this is the ground pigtail from the light box. I will use a 3-pin Wago 11 nut connector for this. I will use a 2-pin Wago 11 nut connector to connect the white neutral from the 14-3 wire and the white neutral from the light fixture. The red wire from the 14-3 coming from switch 1 is connected to this red wire coming from the second switch box. I will 
use a 2-pin Vago 11 nut connector for this purpose. The black wire coming from the first switch box is connected to the white wire coming from the second switch box. And this white wire now becomes my traveler wire. I'll use a small black tape here to indicate that this is a traveler wire. I will again use a 2-pin Vago 11 nut connector to join these wires. Next, the black traveler wire from the first switch box is connected to the black wire of the light fixture. Next, we will connect the second three-way switch. Once again, we will take care of the ground wires first. I will use a 3-pin Vago 11 nut connector again to connect the three ground wires. One from the switch, one from this 14-3 and one pigtail from the switch box. Now the black wire is connected to the black screw of this switch. As we did in the first switch, we will connect the red traveler wire to the upper brass screw. Because I designated this white wire as a black traveler wire in the light fixture, I have used a black tape here to indicate that this is a traveler wire. This white wire goes to the other side of the switch. All connections are done. Let's take another look at how we have connected the wires. Starting from here, power comes into the first switch box using a 14-2 wire. The black hot wire is connected here and the white neutral is connected to the white neutral of this 14-3. The red traveler wire from the 14-3 is connected to the upper brass screw of the three-way switch. On the other side, the black traveler wire from this 14-3 is connected to brass screw of the three-way switch. In the light outlet box, the black traveler wire from this 14-3 is connected to the white wire of this 14-3, which is going to the second switch. I have used a black tape here to indicate that this is black traveler wire. You can see that here as well. The white neutral from the light fixture is connected to the white neutral, which is coming from the first switch box and this is further connected to the white neutral of the power in. Here the red traveler wire from this 14-3 is connected to the red traveler wire of this second 14-3 wire coming from the second light fixture. And finally the black wire from the light fixture is connected to the black wire of this 14-3 which is further connected to the black load terminal of the second three-way switch. This red traveler wire is coming to the light fixture connected to the red traveler wire of this 14-3 wire. On the other side, white wire which is designated as black is coming here connected to the black traveler wire of this 14-3 wire. I will now push all these wires into the boxes. I will leave all these wires as is for testing purposes. Once it is confirmed that the connections are correct, I can push these wires into the light outlet box. I turned on the power from the circuit breaker. Let's see the connections are correct or not. So first switch on, off. Second switch on, off. On from the second switch, off from the first switch. On from the first switch, off from the second switch and each switch also works independently. Everything looks good. That verifies that all connections are correct. This video is one of the several videos that I have made on wiring and troubleshooting three-way switches. So this project is complete now. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is informative. It is helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There are several other similar DIY videos on my channel. I'll see you next time. Until then, please take care.